Okay, key point 11 is factorising simple expressions. So I've got three here we're going to have a look at. If you know how to do this, then why don't you pause the video when I show you the question and try and do this for yourself. So, 8x plus 20. Right, what we're looking for is a common factor, the highest common factor of 8x and of 20. So, if we look at the number here first, the highest common factor, the highest number that goes into both of them is 4. Highest common factor equals 4. So we put 4 outside the brackets. 4 times something is 8x. We can see that's 2x. And 4 times something is 20. We can see that is 5. A very common mistake that is often made here is to just divide by 2 and end up with this. This would be wrong in an exam. That is not uh, factorised properly. You must use the highest common factor. Another error that is made is not being able to see the highest common factor for expressions like this. The highest common factor, everybody always tries to look for, a 2. But the highest common factor here is actually 3. So 3 outside the brackets, 2y plus 5. This works out because 3 times 2 would give you 6y, and 3 times 5 would give you 15. So we can see we can get back to the original answer. We haven't actually changed anything. We've just write, written it in a different way. So that is the expression factorised. And the final one, this one involves letters and numbers. So here we're looking for a highest common factor. I'll just give you a moment to pause if you want to try and do this yourself. The highest common factor here, we can see, is 4. But it's also x. So, in actual fact, outside the bracket, we should have 4x, which leaves us with an x left there, and a 3 left there. Because this times this is 4x squared, and this multiplied by this is 12x. This is the check you should do if you are not sure. So this bit is the check and this bit is the answer.